from Senator Passione Zayas, uh, representing the Northwest side of Chicago, also a Chicago Public Schools um, graduate, and my children attend Chicago Public Schools. I've spent my entire career in education. I hold a PhD in educational policy studies. At one point, I actually worked um, for central office, but based in a school. Um, but, you know, I've also worked really closely with at least a dozen school principals and watched the nebulous dynamics that they navigate, and even more so now um, in the context of a pandemic, um, because you're between literally a rock and a hard place. And as a part of my work in advocating for local school councils, I've come to understand just how unique the predicament um, of Chicago public school principal is. And, you know, I, I'm, I've been this student of local school councils, and I think what's really important for us to understand, because some opponents say, why is this only for Chicago? Why is this only for Chicago principals? Well, Chicago is the only district in the state and perhaps in the nation where the principal serves central office or the chief, uh, chief executive officer, as well as the local school council. Both of those entities have the power to hire, fire, and evaluate. And so it, it's really important that we think about that particular context um, because you have district officials in some instances who can fire you and make demands of you that are in opposition of your local school council's positions, but they can also fire you. So you are in this kind of you know, limbo about who do you really serve and what do you really, what is your purpose in this particular role? And what does this do? This ultimately cultivates a culture of fear and it fosters opposition to the very foundational democratic principles that established local school councils. It was meant to be a democratic mechanism so that you can have site-based management teams that are comprised of the people who are going to be feeling the impact of the policy and the decisions that are made based on budget right there. Well, I think what's really important for us to understand here is that House Bill 5107 is going to support principals in supporting their local school councils without the conflict of the current arrangement and the fear of retribution that if they stand with their local school council, who ultimately also has the role in hiring and firing them, it's not going to be a situation where there's going to be retribution at the district level. So I support, I fully support reasonable legislation that allows principals to organize around the four areas that Troy just mentioned because it is going to serve our students well. It is going to serve our educators well. It is going to serve the mission of education. And so for that reason, do I not only support House Bill 5107, I'm also the chief Senate sponsor of a related bill, House Bill 4933, which would also continue to empower our local school councils while bringing due process and transparency to the process of determining who a local school council can select as their principal.